Remember before Christmas where I was making a lot of Bricklink orders? Well, I've already done it again. And as you can see, there's a lot of packages and parcels and some other bits. So I recently picked up this Lego Marvel magazine. I'll buy one of those, why not? And I've still got that VIP add-on pack to open up. So it's parts, might as well open up with these parts here. And I've finally completed the Marvel CMF Series 2. I needed Agatha, Moon Knight and Mr. Knight and now I've got them all. I didn't plan to get the whole series but when I was just buying so many of them here and there I ended up with most of them and these are the last ones I needed so I picked those up off a Lego Facebook group. And one of these, I think it's this one, is actually a Lego Bricks and Pieces order which came all the way from, is it Belgium or Germany or something like that? So it comes like straight from one of the factories. So it took forever to get here. I ordered this like a month ago or something. So it's it took its time, but it's finally here. So let's start off with this Lego bricks and pieces order. And this one was kind of a bit of a random one. Like there were a few things I was after specifically, but then I was just looking through and see what they had. And I just kind of got it because I ordered this as part of chopping up an order. Like, I don't normally get their parts or anything like that. Oh, I can't even do this one handed. Ugh. Here you can see just some of the parts again, like a pretty much complete random, like I, I knew some of it, it's for some Winter Village recolors of some Lego Friends sets, but there's just some other random parts in here that I thought could be useful, so I picked those up. So here's everything all laid out, and now that I look at it, I remember most of these parts, like the big white plates and things and these door frames and etc, are for some of the recolors that I'm planning to do, so that's handy to have. But then I just kind of got a bit carried away and ordered some random things, like all these minifigure parts here and some few printed different tiles and just other little things that I needed just a couple of so it was just a random top up order really but it's handy to have so that's pretty good moving on to the next bag now this was from Tim's Bricks on Bricklink so thank you for that and I can't remember what's in here but judging by the size of the package there's gonna be a lot in here I think and oh well yeah I want there's more I think oh yeah there was one other thing hiding down there ah these not as much as I thought, but hey, look at that. It's all organized. That's good. And maybe I ordered too many of these door frames. Oh, that's okay. They always come in handy, don't they? And ah, oh, I think when I ordered these, I only ordered, what? Well, I only added the um, these round dish ones to my basket, but I sent I got sent the whole pack. So thanks for that. I guess it's just easier because they do come as a pack. But yeah, I like these parts. They're good. Just like some good... <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be grenades, but that's what they look like to me or something. And I like to use the circular ones as like air vent ducts and things. You've got a grappling hook attachment in there. Nice. That's good. Some more large plates um, for various different mocks that I was working on. That's handy to have. Same again here. Yes, yes, yes. And I love these yellow berries. I ordered some from Lego and I got some here. Just can't have enough of them. I do love those. Lots of brown for the colour swap of the uh, Lego Friends Autumn Stable that I'm doing. Trying to make it a bit more Winter Village-y. And I've decided to kind of essentially rebuild the whole thing. <laughs> Just in different colours. So that's what the brown and the tan is for. And oh, the new the minifigure here. New Scamander from uh, Fantastic Beasts. I just like the... Well, I like it as a minifigure. I like the torso, really. So that was pretty cool and pretty cheap. And comes with a little accessory there. All right. And what else? What else? What else? More brown for that. Oh, these chairs are for my improved Hogwarts Express from the 2023 version. I've kind of redone the carriages a bit and I needed more of the chairs, so that's handy to have. Some other mocks I was doing, so you needed these bits. Yeah, this was a successful haul so far, and I've still got more to go. Next up, we have just a very tiny little one, and this is just pretty much minifigure parts. Nothing too exciting. But I saw them and I was like, oh, well, okay then. So I just got a couple of heads, some torsos, legs, hairs, you know, just basic minifigure stuff. But I thought these torsos looked pretty cool, actually. And it was all very cheap, so I, I couldn't say no. So I've got two small boxes and one larger box. And I think there is still probably one more order to arrive that I'll probably get here tomorrow. But what have we got in this one? We have more of the same, but good, because I needed more of this stuff. Although I think, okay, I might have accidentally ordered more of the same part because I've ordered the same part from three different stores, but it will come in handy at some point. So some of these parts in there. 
more windows, more tan plates. I think, yeah, I think I've got some of them already over there, but that's okay. I can use them for other things. More prints. And now I've got two of these. That's handy to have. And this is from the Jazz Club. So I thought that's just nice to have. Yeah. And then it's a ladder piece and white plates. This, I don't know what set this is from, but it looked interesting. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but hey, it's there. It's got numbers on it. Yeah. So this is all good stuff and more parts for my Lego Friends recolor. I think it's going to look really good. I've kind of done a mock-up of it. So hopefully it'll look just as good when I do the real thing. But now I've got all the parts. I think I might as well do it. I know it's not Christmas anymore, but I think I should because that's what these parts are for, right? Might as well get to work. And here's my order from DSLS Bricks. And I have to say thank you to them because they only shipped it yesterday and it's arrived this morning. So that's great. But this is all parts for my new and improved Hogwarts Express carriages. Kind of using the style of the 2023, but making it more like bigger, more typical Lego train car. Which in turn is basically based off the one from the Emerald Knight set. And I've used that as my basis for classic style train cars before. So that's what I'll be doing with this. And I just need a couple more parts and I'll be good to go. And, I mean, if you've made custom Lego trains, you know that train parts can be expensive. But these, or everything I bought here is like brand new condition. And it was pretty cheap. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. Thanks. So, this is it. The last package. And it's the big one. Ooh. And look at that. They've reused Lego magazine pages as packing material. I'm all for it. Recycling and reusing. And it's still Lego related. So, that's good. Aha, and speaking of magazines, we've got some magazine foil bags, which you can tell these are slightly older now because even the magazines come in paper bags now. So these are some older ones, some Jurassic Park ones, Lego City one, Black Widow one. I really like this Black Widow minifigure. And these were all very good at prices, so I can't complain. Some more support pillars in yellow. I've got so many. Like, I just like this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but yeah, I like parts like that. And then some more recolored parts for my mocks, as I talked about. And these basketball hoops. I saw them. I did not know they were going to be that big. So I thought they'd be a bit smaller, but I'm sure I'll find a way to use them at some point. And that is it. So, got a big pile building up now. Time to get sorting. But let's take a look at these minifigures over here. I suppose it makes sense if I open these ones up as well. It kind of all ties in. So we've got Captain Marvel, Thanos... Uh, what's this one? Who's this? That's Moon Knight. <laughs> Agatha. Mr. Knight. Black Widow. Lego City character called Jessica Sharp. Okay. Vic Hoskins, I think his name was, from Jurassic World on this Jurassic Park-styled Jeep. Although that face print of the minifigure just looks really old for Lego. Like, this is... Polybag came out not too long ago, like, within the last few years. But that face print looks like 15 years old, so that's a little strange. Here we've got all the minifigures and their associated mini builds. We've got the CMFs there with their spare parts out front. Very nice. The Black Widow one with a little weapon stand. This Lego City kind of explorer one with a little wildlife plant and a small animal there. Jurassic World. Little off-road quad bikes thing. There's a the minifigure with that. Captain Marvel came with so many of these power pack pieces. Because it all comes in one pack, of course. Pretty nice, but... Yeah, way, way too many. And then Thanos here gets his little Infinity Gauntlet and his double-edged sword there. Pretty nice. And last, let's take a look at this LEGO VIP Winter Add-on Pack, which I've had for a few weeks now, and I just completely forgot I had it, so I haven't opened it. But let's take a look. A lot of nice sand green, dark green, and olive green leaf elements in there. So we've got some tools, some shovels, an axe, the leaf pieces, fence elements got snowboards and skis and the dark green one isn't all that common so that's pretty nice to see some bits to well yeah to make some little things with really i mean it is just an add-on pack so you can't do much with it just as it is but these are useful prints but put it together with some other parts and you can come up with something pretty nice now i've got everything all out i can start sorting out things into certain piles so i can sort them for each project what i need and then find out if i still need to place any future orders which ugh, you always do don't you you never have everything right away so i'm going to sort everything out and we'll go from there
in these containers here is where I keep the parts for the certain projects that I'm working on. So they're just in there ready to go and they got labels on to remember what's what. But this big one here can take taking up three containers this is for my Hogwarts Express passenger cars. And then I think my Winter Village train station, which I've got all the parts for, is full in a tub back there. So, yeah, this is good. I can actually just get on and make these things, hopefully, pretty soon. So this is what things look like currently. And as you can see, a lot of them are 100%, which is great. And some others are very close to into 100. So, <laughs> yeah, this is good. I'm happy. And I haven't even added all the other parts that I've just got. So hopefully I better finish a few more of these off. Parts are grouped. Let's get sorting. Look at that, everyone. You see all those 100%? Look at them. There's so many and so many others that are very nearly completed as well. And of course, we've got a bunch of other stuff, which I'll worry about later. You know, you can only focus on so many things at once. Don't want to overwhelm yourself. But look at all this. That means I can just do it, as I've talked about. And I'm really looking forward to it. But before I do all the fun stuff, there is something I need to take care of. And that is this horrible mess, my part sorting tray, where I put all my unsorted parts and let it build up, and then I have to... Oh, I have to sort it all out. It's such a chore, but it's not something I have to do that often. You know, maybe every other month or so, I don't know, not that often really, because... But when it gets full, it gets full with all sorts of parts, all different shapes and sizes, and... There's so many in there. Luckily, this box isn't that deep, so that makes it easier. But, yeah, I think I need to dedicate a whole day to doing that because oh, I don't know if I could bring myself to do it. So thank you very much for watching, and thanks again to all those Bricklink sellers for getting me my orders pretty quickly, actually, so very happy with that. Have you made any Bricklink orders? Are you working on any mocks or anything? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you all in the next video where I might be working on one of the mocks I've talked about. So thanks again. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.